First, it looked as though the 43-year-old Catalina had made a perfect approach as she skimmed over the waters of Plymouth Sound. But within seconds of her hull hitting the water, things started to go wrong. She slewed to one side, hitting an inflatable buoy, and then, and this did the damage, she hit a permanent buoy which ripped off the left side wingtip, including a float. She ended up doing what pilots call a surface loop, coming right out of the water. The armada of boats from the welcoming committee became rescue launches. One of the four-man crew had been thrown violently against a bulkhead and had gashed his leg. He was taken to hospital. Other boats recovered the wingtip. But the Americans were determined to mark their arrival. And while frantic efforts were being made to stop the PBY sinking, they hung out flags from the cockpit. It then became a race against time to get the plane beached before she filled with water. They towed her slowly to the shallows where the Catalina ended up half submerged. Its millionaire owner and pilot apologized for spoiling the parade and managed a joke. You know, I heard that traveling in uh, Europe was going to be, uh, could be dangerous this year, but I didn't know it happened immediately upon entry. Mr. Franks, can you tell me what happened? Uh, everything appeared normal, and uh, I heard the power applied and, uh, and uh, looked out and saw... Everything going crazy? Uh, well, I saw a couple boys, and I was hoping we'd make 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 it through it, but um, we did a water loop. Same as a ground loop, but it was on the water. It was such a perfect trip, and then to be right here and have this happen is a uh, big disappointment, I think, for everyone.